In this video, we'll look at estimating net income in Ontario around the year 2020. First of all, this is an estimate. It's not precise. Taxes are very complicated. I make some simplifications of the numeracy issues and the tax issues. And second of all, I'm fudging the brackets a little bit. They're quite precise down to the dollar and they're different provincially and federally. There's two different percentages that I've kind of combined, but the brackets are slightly off. I've made the numbers simple. It's an estimate. And finally, these numbers I'm giving you are for around 2020. After that, it's going to be off because the numbers change often. Anyway, let's get started estimating net income in Ontario around the year 2020. So first things first, here's how tax brackets work. Most people don't understand. You get $11,000 of income tax-free, no matter what, every Canadian, no matter how big or small your salary is, your first $11,000 approximately, these are estimated numbers, don't get taxed. Then every amount of money from $11,000 to $45,000, any money you make inside here, so if you make $12,000, only $1,000, will get taxed at 20.05%. And then if you're still going, if you're making more than 45000 all your dollars from 45000 to 90000 get taxed at 29.65%. And all your money from 90000 to $150,000 gets taxed at 37.16%. From 150000 to 210000 at 41.16%. And finally, any amount of money you make from $210,000 and up gets taxed at 46.16%. Also note, these are the limits exactly for 2020. You pay into the Canadian pension plan, if you're a Canadian citizen, you pay 5.25%, but to a maximum of $2,972. You're also required to, play, to pay employment insurance, which is 1.58%. Again, a number that fluctuates greatly over the past 10 years, but right now for 2020, it's 1.58%, but to a maximum of $856.36. So we're gonna use this set of brackets and these numbers to calculate your estimated net income for 2020. Again, it's an estimate, the numbers change, and that's why I've made this video. I had an older version. It's time to update it. Let's get started. Suppose your gross income was $50,000. The first thing we're going to want to do is calculate your CPP. Your CPP chart, it, your charge is 5.25%. Let's convert that to a decimal, divide by 100, and you get 0 0.0525 times your gross income, $50,000. Let's get a calculator. Mine's over here. So if you're making $50,000, you do 0 0.525 times 50,000, and that tells you for the year, you'll be charged $2,625. When we go to calculate employment insurance, I'll move this over here. Employment insurance is 1.58%, so divide that by 100 or move the decimal over twice to get 0, 0.0. 158, and we multiply that by 50,000. That's how much in the year you'll pay for employment insurance. So 0 0.0158 times 50,000 gives $790. Okay. For taxes, like I showed earlier, it's a little more complicated. Let's look at this specific example. Your first 0 to $11,000 is free. You pay no taxes on that. From 11,000 to 45,000 dollars. Let's look at how much money is there. If you're making 50,000, how much money is inside this bracket? I'll figure it out by using my calculator. 45,000 minus 11,000 because you have that bracket full as in from 11,000 to 45,000 you're making all that money each dollar in there, how many dollars? Each, 30, each of those $34,000 gets taxed at, what was the rate? 20.05%. Convert to a decimal, 0 0.2005. I just move the decimal over twice or divide by 100. 
So this is the tax I'm paying on all the dollars, there's 34,000 of them, between this and this. What does that work out to be? 34,000. Notice it doesn't matter if you do the decimal times the number or the number times the decimal first, doesn't matter. Oh, five. So you pay $6,817, sorry, $6,817 on the money between here and here. But you're making more than 45,000, you're making 50,000. So how much money do you have between here and here? Well, you're going from 45,000 to 50,000, which you can use a calculator, but it's easy. There are $5,000 in this bracket here. You have 5,000 take away 45,000 is 5,000 bucks left in this bracket. That gets taxed at 29.65%. So I'll multiply by 0.2965, which equals, that's 5,000 times 0.2965, and you get $1,482.50. So your total taxes is just add those numbers together. 61, 68, 17, plus 14250 equals, oh, I wish I hadn't deleted that, I just gotta retype it. 6817 plus 1428.5. So your total taxes for the year would be approximately 8,000. 900. We don't put an approximate dot. I'm just saying approximate because this is an estimated way to calculate. We've got our total taxes. So now we can figure out our net income. Your net income is your gross income minus your deductions. So it's going to be $50,000. That was your salary for the year. Take away your CPP. Take away your EI and take away your total taxes. And let's see what we got. This will be it. And this is what you'll use for your project. 50,000 minus 2625 minus 790 minus 829, oh, 8299.5 is 38,200 $85.50. If it was a word problem, you need a therefore statement, but I didn't ask it as a word problem. We're just showing the work here. So at the end of all that, you have $38,285.50. But what if your income was a bit higher? Say it was $160,000. Let's calculate that one. It's going to be a bit more for taxes. Let's see. Your CPP would be 0 0.52, oh, 0 0.0525 again, times 160,000. But watch carefully. I'm going to do that math, but then something else happens. 0 0.0525. You should show this work if your salary is high. You'd be lucky if you're making $160,000. It comes out to $8,400, but remember there's a max. You don't pay $8,400, you only pay the max. So I'm gonna write that in here, pay the max. You show the calculation, but then you tell the reader you're paying the max of $2,972. And usually, not always, but they're close, usually the maxes are set close. If you pay the max CPP, you're probably gonna go over for EI too. Let's look. Again, convert to decimal and multiply by your income. So the EI for 2020 is 1.58% or 0 0.0158 times your gross income and you get $2,528 which is well over the maximum so you pay the max which equals $856.36 Okay, how about your taxes? Your taxes for everybody even someone making this much money still gets their first $11,000 free. No tax on that. They also have to pay the same amount on their $11,000 to $45,000, which is the same, right? They're also, how much, it's not going to change for them because between those two numbers, just like before, 
they are $34,000. And that gets taxed at 0.2005%, which equals, I'm sorry, 20.05% as a decimal. It's the same thing, right? We've already calculated this. I know what the number is going to be. I'm just showing you. They pay, and this is what most people don't understand about taxes. They pay the same amount of tax on the money in this bracket. It's only once you start going to higher brackets with each dollar in those higher brackets, that's where they have to pay more. But just on the money in that bracket. Let's look. From 45000 to 90000 how many dollars are in that section? What's 90000 take away 45000 45000 On that money, they have to pay 29.56%. Last time we only had $5,000 in there. This time you have $45,000 in there. 2965, she equals. See what that is. 45,000 times 0.2965, and you get 13,342.50. What about the next bracket, which is 90,000 to 150,000? In this bracket, how much money is between 90,000 and 150,000? I've just been doing it in my head. You can do it on a calculator. So you see where I'm getting these numbers from? There are $60,000 in that bracket, and all of those dollars, because they're being paid more than that, so they have to pay on that 60,000 bucks, what was the percentage? 37, so as a decimal, 3716. Let's multiply. 60,000 times 0.3716, and you get $22,296. And we're at the end of their brackets. They never get to this 210,000 up, but they have 150,000 to 160,000 because that's the limit on their income. They have $10,000 in this bracket, and that gets taxed at 41% as a decimal. That's 0.4116. So what's 10,000 times 0.4116? That's 406. $4,116. That's how tax brackets work. So let's calculate their total taxes, which is just add all those numbers together. The taxes free on this bracket, that's what they paid in that bracket. That's what they paid in this bracket. And they paid 22, 296 in that bracket, plus four, can I squeeze it in? Yep, and six, which equals, add them all up. 6817 plus 13, 3, 4, 2, 50 plus 22, 2, 9, 6 plus 4, 1, 1, 6. 46,511 and 50 cents. And now, like before, let's calculate this person's net income. Their net income is just their total gross income, $160,000, minus their CPP, they paid the max, minus their EI, they paid the max, minus, I'm going to put it on the next line, minus their total taxes. We're almost there. Just got to do this final subtraction for their net income. Let's see what they pay. $160,000, minus $2,972, $856.36 minus $46,571.50 and there it is their final net income after taxes CPP and, e and EI is $109,600.14 so we've done it we've calculated the net income estimated against a rough estimated of net income in Ontario around the year 2020.